Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of Cheeky Let's Play's Pokemon Shining Pearl Nuzlocke. Boy oh boy, did we pick another long uh, title for me to have to recite at the beginning of every episode. That's okay though, we're not here to complain about titles. We're here to gain the title of Pokemon Champion of the Sinnoh region. Here's our team as of the second episode. We've just picked up a Paralyzed Heal. Now that is the kind of commentary that people come from all corners of YouTube to listen to. Look at that ultra realistic water next to this tiny little chibi character. This is the game we're playing, folks. Obviously, this Zubat is never going to be able to replace Bathroom Man. Like, that's... It's not about that, you know? Disliking sunlight, it sleeps deep in forests and caves until sundown. Yeah, so... You know what? I like the name Xanthi. Like this. Xanthi. That's fun. It's nice, it's fun. It's a little bit of something for everyone. And it's it's different to Bathium Man, you know? Because this is not This Zubat is in no way affiliated with Bathium Man. It's not her it's not his daughter. Let me just make that real clear. Xanthi is not related to Bathium Man. She is not his daughter. She does not have a quest for vengeance to somehow, you know. Uh, you know, uh, kill the one responsible for her father's death. Nothing like that. And don't write, like, fanfic suggesting that. Because that would be irresponsible. Because that's not what's happening here. You hear me? Okay. Trust in y'all. Trust in y'all. Alright, we're running a full team of six already. And we've got another route just over here. Oh, actually, we can get an item. Yeah, quick claw. Is that Starry Night? It's like Starry Night by Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Gogh. People in this house have taste. Ooh. Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius. I think it's our first rival battle, isn't it? Oh my god, we are gonna smash him. He's got two Pokemon, we've got six. It's gonna be embarrassing. So he has Turtwig, right? Yeah, he would have picked Turtwig. Cool. That's not too bad. Don't get cocky, kid. Don't get cocky, kid. Alright, Han Solo. I mean, Han Solo says that in the movie. That's in the Star in the in Star Wars. Oh, wonderful! Good job. So I mean, someone tells me this is gonna be a real easy game. Possibly, my friend. Possibly. And the rich get richer. Okay. I love how immediately after he finished talking, my uh, little character just yawned. Like, so silly. Like, yeah, sure, whatever. Whatever, Jimmy. Now, I don't know what encounter we have left, to be completely honest. 
don't know what we're gonna find here on this route that we haven't already caught. Oh my god! <gasps> An Abra? That's freaking sick! My dudes! Um, okay, well, I just need to, I just need to try and catch it. Because it's gonna teleport away. I just gotta hope I can catch it. Come on. Come on. Come on! Oh! Baby! I got an Abra? Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh that is juicy. That is a very juicy uh, catch. Okay. Abra, even while asleep, it maintains a telepathic radar. It teleports when it is threatened. Yeah. Okay. Very powerful psychic type user. Uh, okay. Uh, so this is spoons? <laughs> because, you know... <laughs> because, uh, Kadabra and Alakazam, they love spoons. They use them, they bend the spoons, you know, it all makes sense. Welcome to the team, spoons! <laughs> I don't think Abra gets any moves that it can actually learn for a bit. Yeah, you can just teleport. Oh no! The nature! It's down special attack? That ain't fun. That ain't good. Ugh, I mean, you know, there's nothing, nothing I can really do about that. Oh well. Now the annoying thing about having a Badoo is the fact that Badoo uh, evolves with with um, with happiness, with friendship, um, which could take a while at this stage in the game. But I like the little guy. I like Pauly. So let's see if we can't become friends with Pauly as soon as possible. Oh my god, Xanthi, why do your attacks suck so bad? There's no way you're going to be able to avenge your father at this rate. I mean, oh, forget I said anything. You know, we're absolutely zooming through this game so far. We might even be able to make it to the, make it and challenge the, the first gym in this, uh, this episode. I think that might be possible. I mean, this is like, it just demonstrates the difference of how the games were built back in the day compared to to now. Where it's like, they don't really mess you around that much before you're just like, in it. Whereas, you know, with Sword and Shield and with, um, uh, definitely like, Sun and Moon and even X and Y, it's just like, Here's your Pokemon, here's the Pokedex, off you go, go catch a bunch of Pokemon. Gym leader is literally two towns away, go have fun. Uh, so, you know, there's a good there's a good pace to things. Whereas, my gosh, I, I don't think, my gosh, I don't think we challenged the first gym leader in X and, no, in Sword and Shield until like episode six? Five, it was episode five. It's quite a lot. I don't think we did the first gym leader in episode 2 or 3 in uh, Heart Gold, so yeah, it, it checks out. Just a little bit of damage, and no! Oh, perfect! Oh, because of Sturdy. Okay, I was about to say poorly. That was maybe a little bit too much, but thankfully it has Sturdy. It is impossible to distinguish from rocks. It slams against others in contests of toughness. Yeah... Rocks. We had Rocket last time. Uh, but I want to go a different vibe. I don't think we'll be using this Geodude. Uh, you know, the pain is... it's still there. Uh, but I want, like, Crag. Cr crevasse. Uh, Boulder? Bold... Boldress. I don't know. Why not Boldress? 
That seems cool. Yeah, Baldrus. You go chill in the uh, in the box, Baldrus. We ain't gonna need you right now. And we made it to Orberg City, the city of energy. Quite a dramatic title. Come to puppy, what have we got here? Got a match up. Its muscles never cramp, however much it trains. It lives in the mountains away from humans. This is Nomad. Yeah, Nomad. They're a real, a real loner, this guy. And they're going to be very helpful in this gym. Spoons! I feel like that's what we should do every time Spoons um, levels up, is just go, Spoons! I'm sure that won't get annoying. Oh my god, we actually found an Onyx! Okay, well, yeah. I mean, this is our uh, first new encounter of this area, so we have to catch it. Okay. It squirms through the ground using its long and rugged body. It always eats while borrowing. Okay, so it's a really hungry snake. Uh, this is going to be... Tube. Because it's a big old rock tube. Yeah. I'm great at naming Pokemon, I think you'll find. Okay, you know, I was thinking... I was thinking that I need to grind a bit. But, you know what? Fuck it. This game is easy. This is an easy game. I don't think I need to worry that much. Mmm, actually maybe I do. Maybe I... <laughs> Don't be an idiot. Don't want to be making the big risks this early on in the game, you know? Because here's the thing. I mean, Kranidos is no slouch, right? Like, as much as this is just the first gym of the game, it's a super easy game, that that Kranidos can, can punish. Oh, look, I just successfully downloaded Hades. <laughs> uh, yeah, they g gave you a little insight into into my uh, into my life there. I haven't played Hades before and now I'm excited to. It was just on a discount on the old uh, eShop. So I was like, oh, I should probably uh, probably pick this up. This will probably be the only grinding I ever do in this game. Because I've been playing it through uh, just like a normal run, like a normal playthrough. And my goodness, are my Pokemon over leveled. Like, they're like 10 levels ahead pretty consistently. And this was after about halfway through the game. I think after like, not even halfway through the game, like literally I think a little bit after the second gym, I was like, okay, I can't keep walking around with this full team of six. So I started just swapping them out. So I'd have like two Pokemon from my main team in the party and the other four slots were just Pokemon that I was like, that I'm like leveling up to evolve so I can complete my Pokedex and stuff. But even doing that, even only having two of my main party members in the party at any one time, that that still was making me like um, over leveled. Like still, I just could not believe it. So I don't know, I don't know how we're gonna go with that in this. I think we might have to literally just skip the majority of trainers in this game to stay under leveled. Also, just quick apology for uh, the first half of this episode. When I was editing it, I realized that the footage came out real choppy. Um, which I wasn't too happy about, obviously. I think the problem was that my computer just was str my, my shitty, shitty computer. Uh, was just struggling to use a updated version of Final Cut Pro, which I was using to record my audio at the same time as the... Um, is the thing for recording footage. Uh, so now I'm using, which is annoying because Final Cut Pro was working fine when I was recording footage before. But I think it got updated in the most recent update and now it just like takes up so much RAM. So now I'm using uh, GarageBand uh, instead and hopefully that won't affect the quality of the audio too much, but the quality of the video will be much improved. So yeah, just apology for that. 
Also, apology for getting this video out so late. You know, this shouldn't be the apology episode, but look, I've been very busy. I haven't even been able to keep to the, the two-a-week schedule that I said I would. So, we're just gonna see how we go with this series. Uh, maybe play it a bit more by ear. Hopefully next week, I'll kind of have my schedule a bit more in line so that I can upload an episode on uh, Tuesday and an episode on Friday. But we'll just, we'll just see about that. Don't want to make too many promises just yet anymore. Because I don't want to keep disappointing you, my my seven subscribers, my my three consistent viewers. Hopefully one day uh, I'll be super famous and people are looking back on this series and they're like, wow, I can't believe there was a time where he only had seven subscribers. And now he has 17. Okay, here we go. No more, no more grinding. This is it. It's now or never time. This could be the shortest Nuzlocke ever. Let's find out. Roark. Little tiny miner. Here we go. You know, I'll give props to um, to Diamond and Pearl for this. I do think that like Rark is one of the toughest first gym leaders of, of any of the games. Because I mean, like compare him to Brock, right? Brock had what a Geodude and an Onyx. That's lame, buddy. Roark has a Geodude and an Onyx, and then he also has a Kranidos, which is a very tough Pokemon for this level. I mean, so far we're doing fine. Whoa, Onyx outsped my matchup. That's crazy. I can't believe that. Ah, oh, sturdy. Sturdy. Hate that. Please don't heal it fully. Okay, good. Because that's the annoying thing about sturdy, is if it heals it fully, then I'll just trigger sturdy again. What? What? I can't believe- I should've just gone for low sweep again. I mean, low kick. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? How many potions is- uh, at least hopefully that means that he won't use a potion on his, uh, Kronodos. Okay, there's no way it's faster than me now, right? Not possible. Yeah, Bushka. Out of here. You and your potions, Roark. I swear to almighty G. Okay. About to wipe that smug smirk off your face, Roark. Ooh, got the fancy little Pokeball stuff. Oh, yikes, 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 yikes. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I wasn't expecting my matchup to just destroy it like that. All right. That was nowhere near as hard as I thought it was going to be. Okay. Good work, Nomad. Didn't even need to use Miller. Didn't even need to use spoons. What? My buffed up Pokemon. How could this be possible? My buffed up Pokemon didn't win. Ooh, Dipper! Wow, I didn't realize Dipper evolved this early. This is gonna be a lot of help for the next gym. Mmm, beautiful. They live in forests and fields. Squabbles over territory occur when flocks collide. Give me that badge. Give me that, give me that, give me that badge. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, just like in Pearl and Diamond, can we like polish the badges and make noises from them? 
Can I not? You say this is a faithful remake and yet we can't polish our badges? This just shows how much they didn't actually care about making a faithful remake. Okay, well that's- we're doing a lot in just the matter of a short period of time. This is only episode two. We've already got one badge and like I still feel as if I haven't even played long enough in this uh, this episode to, to finish up. So yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna keep moving on. So much better way to implement HMs in this game. Are you okay there? Your bike seems to be wedged in the rock face. Are you like stuck, buddy? Okay, no, you're fine. Ooh, memo pad. I mean, I imagine this would have been much easier to do back in the day when you had like a touch screen as opposed to me right now trying to do this on a, <laughs> on a controller. Hmm. Is there like a button I can do to just immediately get rid of this? No, I have to slowly erase it. That's great. Get rid of the disgusting thing that I've created. Yeah, so what were you, um, what were you watching the, uh, the, uh, today? Oh, you know, it's just one of those chill days. I just like kind of scrolled and watched some stuff on YouTube. Oh yeah, what you watching on YouTube? Oh, uh, you know, there's like this, there's these new Pokemon games. So there's this one YouTuber that does like, you know, challenge runs of Pokemon. Um, like obviously there's a lot of YouTubers that do that, but you know, I, I kind of like this guy's style. He's kind of got like a chill kind of style. You know, he's kind of funny. Uh, not that great at Pokemon though. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, that actually sounds quite interesting. Yeah, you know, he just like... He... Most of the video actually was just like him having to erase the fact that he wrote poop on a memo in the game. And then he felt kind of embarrassed for doing something stupid like that, so then he had to spend a really long time uh, erasing that. So yeah, that's what I did. How was your day? Impeccable timing. I love how Rowan's just an old man. These miscreants are babbling utter nonsense that I just can't stomach. Oh, I can create ball capsules now. I can customize and put stickers and stuff. That'll be fun. That'll be a fun thing to, to play around with. Okay, they're gonna one-shot me, are they? They're gonna one-shot me. These two baby children are gonna one-shot me. Let's see about that. Let's go, you you little little babies. You know what? I'm so I'm so not afraid of you that I'm not even gonna switch out Miller. Is now evolving. Wow! This is just this is just great. My team is becoming so big and strong and powerful so early on. Man, look at that lady killer right there. It rests its four legs on others to communicate with rhythmic electric pulses from its claws. That is adorable. That is just straight up adorable. Okay, and I think with that, and the fact that we've made it to Florama Town, that will be it for this episode. So thank you all very much for watching. Uh, I'll get this episode out real lickety split quick, and then hopefully the next one will come out not too long after that. Uh, I'll see you in that next one. Thank you and bye.